Now, it's natural to long for what we've lost. The writer of Psalm 42 was in exile somewhere far away from home, mourning the life that he once knew. He remembers wistfully the sights and sounds of the great worship gatherings, the great feasts, and aches to be back there. Now, for many of us, the present restrictions feel like an exile, and exiles long to go home. Many of us really miss worshipping how we used to, being energised and inspired by our gatherings, our conferences, our festivals. It's good to remember. But he remembers something else. What made those gatherings so special? It was God's presence. I mean, imagine them with everything but God's presence. And cannot the Lord of all the earth also be present in a place of exile? So repeatedly he takes a grip on his mood and readjusts his focus. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God. I will yet praise him, my saviour and my God. He resolves to place his hope not in reconstructing the past, but in the person and presence of the living God in the here and now, even if it does feel like a far country. 